You ready? Yes. It will bend. The ultimate Forged in Fire matchup. You are the Forged in Fire champion. Two champion blades in a deadly weapon showdown. It will kill. 20 blades, 20 champions. You decide the winner. Forged in Fire Madness. The Japanese Ono. Oh no. My name's Keaton Goddard. I've always enjoyed working with my hands, and I just came across a video one day of a guy making a knife out of a file. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So I tried it and just kind of grew from there. The Japanese Ono was a long battle axe used by the samurai warriors during the 17th century. Measuring nearly six feet long, these intimidating pole axes were used to destroy barricades and smash opponents' armor. After becoming feudal Japan's official police force during the Edo period, the samurai used their Ono to keep the peace which they accomplished for over 250 years. Never heard of it, never seen it. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about figuring out how to make the whole thing out of one piece because it's pretty big and it's kind of an awkward shape. So it's going to be a tough challenge. The Horseman's Axe. My name's Alex Ruiz, and I forge blades on nights and weekends. I used to make hammers and tongs for bladesmiths, and I got bit by the bug. Describe myself in three words, loves to forge. Used by mounted knights and armies, the horseman's axe became the weapon of choice after body armor made swords less effective. The heavier axe with its concave blade allowed horsemen to strike more effective blows, using a sweeping overhead stroke that penetrated armor. Early depictions of medieval warfare shows the axe cleaving an opponent's helmet, delivering a fatal strike. In the film Sleepy Hollow, the headless horseman wields a horseman's axe. So it's the final round. I'm back here on Nantucket. I'm going to make a Japanese Ono. So I start by trying to widen the steel with the drawing hammer, and I realize it's going to make my axe way too thin. So I take the bar of steel, and I'm just hitting it into the anvil. So if I upset it, it'll get fatter, and I can draw it wider from that thickness. Not only is it getting thicker, but I'm also starting to get that crescent shape that I'm looking for. I need to quench this thing as soon as possible. I did it. Nice and straight. Oh, this is great, dude. I'm so happy. It's time to do some casting. I'm casting the heart ornaments that are going to go around the holes in the axe. Artistry and craftsmanship are very important to me, so I want to incorporate that. I put some bronze into the crucible, get the bronze melting. I pull them out, cool them off in some water. It's just looking really good. Perfect. The axe head is pretty much done. Shiny. Next is figure out this handle. So I'm going to use this piece of hickory. Got a nice straight grain to it. I head over to the bell grinder. I just start hogging off material. I'm just trying to get it down to a manageable size because I don't really have a lot of time. I'm also shaping the end of the hickory so that it'll slide into the socket of the ax head. And I got to do one more thing, drill the hole, and then put that pan in and, and peen it over. And we're done. Am I going to be making another one of these anytime soon? Oh, no. Got this big block of 4140. It's a really good impact steel. If anything's gonna hold up to hitting something, it's gonna be that 4140 head, 4140 body. I may have five days, but if the competition taught me anything, work fast, work diligently. In case I run into a last minute issue. Getting that spread out another inch and a half to be past minimum is my biggest challenge. I'm cutting these little nubs in, hoping that I can open them up this way. Got to add some width. <laughs> this is not going to become five and a half or six inches. I'm going to have to start over. But I'm keeping the spike. My plan now is to cut it right here, and I'm going to forge weld this to this. I'm happy. I've got something that's solid, and it looks like an ax. I got the bell hook peened over. Now, need a heat treat. It's a tense moment. I'm going to heat treat one section and the other. Heat treat will make or break my edge, literally and figuratively. <laughs> oh, now that the heat treat's done, I'm testing my weapon on a piece of sheet metal. I want to see what kind of damage it'll do. Oh, 
Nothing loose. It will bend. Welcome to the kill test. It's time to find out what kind of lethal damage your Onos will do. Find that out, I will take your weapon and deliver some lethal blows on this ballistics dummy. Let's see if your Onos can be an... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. All right, teams, let's talk about your Ono here. At first, when I picked it up, I was like, oh, wow, that's light. But then when I wielded it, I was like, oh, yes. This thing stayed on, it's solid. Your edges, they're sharp. And that's why it dug in very deep. The overall, sir, your Ono is an oh, yes, and it will kill. Thank you. The Horseman's Axe, it's actually two weapons in one. It's got an edge that can lacerate and chop and a spike that can penetrate and crush bones. To see what kind of lethal damage your axe will do, I will take your horseman's axe and deliver lethal blows on this ballistics dummy. Alex, you're up next, you ready? Yes. Sweet. <laughs> Alex, your weapon here is a little bit on the heavy side, but you know what? It is well balanced. The edge of your blade here cut deep into chest cavity and it broke the bones. Your spike here right into the heart. And of course, on the swing, it pretty much just disemboweled the dummy right there. Your weapon will kill. Yes, thank you. Welcome to our strength test. Bamboo wall chop. Now, to push your Onos to the limit, I'm gonna beat them repeatedly against a strong, thick, springy bamboo. Keaton, how you feeling? Let's do it. All right, Keaton, good job. It's nice and light, fast, easy to swing. My favorite aspect is how you have the wood going all the way through and split up top here. Your edges are still good. Good job. Thank you. Ice can be very brutal on an edge, so I'm going to take your horseman's axe and repeatedly strike into these large blocks of ice to see how well they hold up. Now, Alex, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Your horseman's axe did quite a job on that ice. Everything's still tight. Your edge is still razor sharp. Thank you. So all in all, very nicely done. Now it's your turn. Which weapon will you choose? Forged in fire madness.